Okay, uh, question six, the speed of transversal wave. Oh, it's, um, this is one of those weird questions where you read it for a bit and you ask yourself, eh, what was it talking about? And um, here, uh, I do strongly recommend that you look at the hint. Uh, that's why hints exist. <laughs> and um, so, you know, uh, read it through for yourself, please. The speed of a transverse wave on a string is 290 meters per second. Its wavelength is 0 0.45 meters. And the amplitude is 20 centimeters. How much time is required for a particle on the string to move through a distance of five kilometers? Round your answer to one decimal place. This is where it's important to read the question carefully. It didn't say how much time is required for the wave to move through. It says a particle on the string. That's a weird thing to say. So if you have a string and this string is, um, uh, this string is what uh, kind of oscillating. It's uh, not asking about how fast is the wave moving. It's asking about how fast, um, how much, or it's uh, asking about how um, the distance traveled by this uh, point on the string. So this is where I hope you apply your critical reading skill and realize, oh, it's not talking about total displacement. In fact, it does say distance and that's probably a meaningful, there's a meaning behind it. And um, what you should realize, oh, it's talking about it, the distance it moves through as it oscillates up and down. Once you realize that, then the rest of the pieces will fall through. Because what you should realize is that, oh, so we are just looking at it moving up and down. So when you look at one whole wavelength, moving in, moving down and then up. So, so this is the one wavelength or one uh, in one period. This uh, particular particle on the string moves through twice the amplitude, um, basically back and forth. So it's, um, so given that the amplitude is 20 centimeters, 2A is 40 centimeters, um, and you are looking to f find out um, how many times in 40 centimeter increments it, um, uh, it has to move to move a total distance of five kilometers. So when you take the ratio 5,000 meters per 0 0.4 meter per cycle, that should basically give you a number of cycles. Uh, I guess might as well do the calculation. It's uh, uh, one, two, five, zero, zero cycles. So it's uh, really the question is asking, oh, how many seconds does it take for this many number of cycles to go through, 12,500 cycles? Then you look back at here and you realize you are given enough information to figure that out. You are given the wave speed, V. You are given the wavelength, lambda. And you remember this relationship from earlier, wave speed is frequency times wavelength. So the frequency is wave speed per wavelength. Um, but you, we are looking for the number of time for the total number of cycles. So you actually want period one over frequency or lambda over wave speed. So that gives you time for one cycle. You take that, multiply it by 12,500. That will give you the amount of time in seconds. So um, this is one of those questions. Uh, it's, uh, this could have very easily been a word problem in one of your math classes. So it's a critical reading, critical analysis. There's no formula that you would memorize other than these relationships that you should have committed to memory. It's a, the rest is kind of you critically thinking through. 